so. Yeah. <clears throat> Courtney. So we're recording and we're about to be on. And five, four, three, two, two one. How y'all doing? Oh. Wait, he he didn't say go yet. Oh. Go. He said go. Right he said now. go. All right. How can I say? Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are live and celebrating our one year anniversary. How y'all doing? Yay, yay, yay. We do. We want to thank y'all for um sticking with us for a whole year. This is our anniversary. You can see our balloons. It's a celebration. We're going to be celebrating, so we're going to do a quick celebration real quick with a shot. Even though she did Congratulations, yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you. yeah. I love y'all. Thank you. So since I got to do a shot, I'm going to go ahead and let it out. Damn it! It's our one year mofo mofo anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta still be a lady. Let's see, I accidentally gave myself more yeah, than you. Have. Last year, I seen you when we posted. And seeing when we po- we posted it, she posted a picture. What was the date? September. It was September 19th. It was the 19th. So I was right. Y'all did a show on the anniversary of y'all show, right? No, we didn't. Yeah, 17. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Congratulations. To our anniversary. To our anniversary. One Yay. year. One whole year. year. Oh. That wasn't bad. It wasn't. See? It actually, listen, the extra component actually added Chilled some it down. smooth. Added before, some smooth to it. But before, <laughs> listen, we have to hit a, a serious note before we um, start having fun oh, on God, our show. Please. Oh, thank Thanks you. Tonight. The Thank one you. thing that we do have to discuss is the Brianna Taylor case. Yes. As I know that there is continuous rioting going out there. And I've heard um, several news reports that um, some police officers have been um, unfortunately shot. Um, and, you know, I don't want for anybody to get hurt in this situation. Mm-hmm. But I think that um, the government and also the police administration, I don't think you really realize how serious this whole matter was. It was 192 um, days um, exactly. before we got any type of justice. And then it was like a slap in the face. You um, basically illegally went into this woman's home and you shot exactly. her. Um, and you were looking for someone else. And then you tried to pay off her family. But basically, you you tried to pay for a life. And, and that's just not right. And while me, I don't um, agree with the protesting that's going on but I have to say that I understand it because mm-hmm. I can't sit here and say that I would not do the same thing if it was not my child mm-hmm. so you know um, just letting you know and I said this before when the protests were going on earlier this generation that you now have now they're not asking for justice they're demanding it they and they feel as though it. they have nothing to lose so yeah. And I think that a, a lot of the young people do feel and believe that they don't have anything to lose. Because mm-hmm. you see that just by their actions on a daily basis. You see different things on the news. But I just want to, um, I think that we need to take time and say prayers for the whole country. Because we're about to go through some things. I think, I think so too. And I just really believe, you know, hopefully, I'm praying that the justice system will really work in this case right now it don't seem like it but i just have a feeling that something is going to turn around and justice is going to be served i just just pray for that every day because her mom needs that you know no mother wants to go through it you know who killed your child Mm -hmm. you know there are some women out here who don't know who killed their child and they only indicted the cop who actually killed her yeah on three counts of wanton endangerment but right, for the white people, the people homes, next, yeah, for store. The next door, not the people who live, the black people who lived upstairs, who who had bullets oh, go through their home as detail. well. Oh, wow. yes. So there were black people who lived upstairs who had bullets go through their window as well, but they are not charged for that bullet going through their window. Only for the white people who live next door. Wow. And y'all know I do love my vanilla brothers and sisters. But I don't like how this is going at all. Um, I have a really, I'm having a really hard time with it. Um, I just feel like it's just so unfair, and things like this just really get under my skin, and that's all I can say on that one. 
But okay. so we're just gonna pray for this situation. Yes, we are. Because we love all people here at the suddenly single. Yes, we do. And get out and vote. Please yes. get out and vote. And especially if you are voting to get Trump out of office, vote. Hmm. Please. Be my fan on that. Mm-hmm. So I see that my sister is listening. Hi, Val. Hey, Val. And I see Bruce White. Hi, ladies and Juju. Glad you guys are still doing the damn thing. I'm here. Thanks, Bruce. Thank, Thank you for you, listening, Bruce. Bruce. Sorry we took so long to respond to you. <laughs> <laughs> but as you see, we were taking care of some business. But what we drinking on the day? What we drinking so on? So we got some champagne. Who's <laughs> somebody else should have on the show? He is welcome to come anytime. Anytime. He is more than welcome. He can come meet us at Hula Hands tonight. Hey. In Cherry Hill. Well, we'll be celebrating after the show. Mm-hmm. All right. So tonight, Hubba-hubba. now we wanted to do some champagne, but Sunshine don't really like champagne. Sunshine like that. don't like champagne. How can you not like champagne? That's I, not even normal. It is normal. How do you drink a mimosa? I don't drink mimosas. I drink Bellinis, which is why I got this. <laughs> <Bellini>. <laughs> but even when I drink a Bellini, usually I add pineapple juice. I don't like orange juice in champagne, period. Okay. Okay. So listen, while you mm-hmm. giving us the champagne, because I got to um, update people, because they're probably wondering why in the world is we going to the... Um, Cool hands, you know, I just had that issue. But I do want to make it known that um, the manager did call me and she apologized. Um, and she said she was getting down to the bottom of it. We had like a, a little bit of a conversation and she said, you know something? If she better be glad because uh, she said she knew who it was, that it wasn't me. She said, because I would have raised all kinds of hell. So, <laughs> did you see that? That looks like a real Bellini. I do see that now. I don't. I don't. I don't know nothing about this, but I'm gonna try it. Okay. You never had a Bellini before. I never had a Bellini. Oh my goodness gracious! Bellinis are delicious. But I'm. I'm. I'm gonna try it. So what exactly is a Bellini? It has like peach snaps in it and peach juice. Okay. Mm Mhm. One second. Saying share. Am I sharing? I'm. Can you tell if I'm sharing or not? I think you are sharing. Didn't you hit share? Mm Mhm. Oh, yeah. But you can always hit it again. Okay. Is that the share button? Yes. All right, okay. let's toast to our one year anniversary. Yes, Yay. yes, yes. Y'all yes, missed it. We took a shot earlier, but y'all we missed it. We did. And it was really good. That means that I get one mm. free cuss. No, you already got your free cuss before you did the I really, listen, I didn't really cuss. <laughs> I just tried said no foe. She trying it, y'all. She trying it, y'all. That should even out. <laughs> okay, so this is good, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to go buy some more of this. Now, let me tell you what I would put in it, though. What I would do to this. What? I would put a little tequila in it. Oh my gosh! No, thank you. I know you don't like tequila. I like tequila, but I'm not you gonna put it in here it. and mess it. Nope, not scared of tequila at all. <laughs> However, <laughs> I am not that putting that in it. What is it? Don't need any stank. It's delicious. The and little, it is. And a little stank to it. It's good. But I'll say stank. cheers, cheers, Val. Cheers, Val. This is good. We're gonna have to put this, add this onto our brunch menu whenever we do our brunch, because we are talking about possibly. Christmas morning because we usually do Christmas Eve mm-hmm. having just brunch me and her and okay. having us some bellinis and mimosas and nice. stuff so this right here has to go on it's very delicious it's really good okay so today mm-hmm. we are talking about something spicy yes <laughs> intimacy and sex in a relationship Ooh. Ooh, hot 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 I left my fan in my car I got what you want. You need more? I'm okay. fine. All right, girl. I'm fine. But this is a hot topic, I think. It's very hot. So, anyway. Did you get an actual title, 12 Ways? The first one is 12 Ways to be Intimate with Your Partner Without Having Sex. What? Without Having Sex. Mm. Okay. Although, a couple of these yeah. will lead to sex. It will. <laughs> It will, especially if somebody trying to rub you down and tell you that they need to give you a massage. <laughs> we go <gonna> get to that. <laughs> but it's twelve ways to be intimate with your partner without having sex, and it's by Lucy Steele, and it was posted on Medium dot com January of this year. All right, man. Okay. 
So the first one. Now remember, we're just trying to be intimate. We're not trying to have sex. Remember, without having sex. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So the first one is spend time cuddling. Now I like this one because mm -hmm. when you cuddle, you mm -hmm. get to... Like you really get to be intimate she with your partner. You get to breathe I do. in his breath. I do. I like, <laughs> and you get to like bury your face like all in the skin and just mm -hmm. become one with it. And I do mm -hmm. like to when my partner's sleeping and breathe in his breath. So I, I just I like it. Yes, yeah, she does. She's already told us that that <laughs> she does. He don't even know that she does it. No, because he be sleeping. But <laughs> cuddling is. You know, you a laughing? good time to just be intimate. You take in. Mm -hmm. Put it over the microphone. Oh. So, listen. You take in the person's breath. You take in listening to their heartbeat. You just become one. You even try to match your breathing with his or her breathing. So, what part of Cutland do you like? Like me, you know, I I don't like no big heavy heads on me on my jaws. Whatever. I don't. I do not. I well, I mean, I just like to cuddle, like lay on his chest and rub his arms and, you know, rub him, put down his arms, rub his chest, not really breathing in his breath. See, even our, even though we, <laughs> we're, we are close friends, our intimacy is different because mm -hmm. me, I don't, you, you can't be too big. I, I like more of a But a I just said I would frame. be laying on him. No, still. That's when I can I cuddle. I like for him to lay on me and I it. like, I don't, you can't be have a big ass head and you're hurting my chest <laughs> so <laughs> listen only one big head needed in a relationship and i already got a big ass head so there you go oh my god he gonna put put up the thumbs Talk about what's important. Have ser serious conversations about what ma matters to you. Goals, your future, yes. and what you want from the other person. So have those type of conversations. And also your plans. Yes. Yeah, your future, future plans. plans. Like if this person is someone that you can see in your life, in the future, why not have that conversation? I love that kind them. of talk time. And y'all can talk about goals if y'all want to, you know, buy a house together or condo together or if y'all want to you know go on trips together mm -hmm. you know it doesn't even have to be as big as buying a house or something you can just say well we're going to start planning trips and doing things together that that's a goal that you both may want to achieve i agree okay now i thought this one was cute okay dance together it is an effortless way <laughs> to get close to your partner you can take a dance class or you might be in the kitchen one day cooking and you could just break on out so into dance. My question, what if neither one of y'all could dance? You don't got to dance. You could just, don't know how to, know how to dance. Silly. Just do be silly. It don't matter. Like, that makes you vulnerable when you just are just having fun and acting crazy. Listen, and then what you can do is you can do a little dance with him. You can start twerking. Even if you don't want to twerk. If you, you don't know, know how, how to twerk. Shake that, all shake beat, that on beat. Still shake it. <laughs> shake that money maker. <laughs> And tell him to pass out the dollars when he's doing it. Make it like a little uh, play thing. Yeah, because really you want that money back. What the money back? Play. No, you don't get this plan. That was a game. No, that wasn't no game. Once yeah, you I'm throw them dollars, that's why that's right, you tipped me. That's mm, tipped mine. me for that dance, because you know that don't happen often, boo. <laughs> 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 that might be the key, fellas. Listen up. <laughs> <laughs> throw some money. I know you're doing it for jokes, but uh, just throw it. <laughs> <laughs> you be surprised that you get after it. Yeah, you might be very surprised. That's just the form of intimacy. Okay. So, let me... I'm sorry. got to go to the next page. Try something new to Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. He done pulled out the... Uh, it's listen. on. Like, popcorn. I'm about to be like this. Yeah, he pulled out 20s. I'm not even going to be part of that dance. I'm going to pull out 20s. I got a big one in there. I, listen, I'm not talking about that. All I saw was the 20s. <laughs> You uh -oh. gotta get up and shake uh -oh. your money maker. Uh -oh. <laughs> get up and shake your money maker. <laughs> <laughs> we need some money for who hands night. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That is true. I'm a treat to y'all who hands. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Val said we are funny as hell. Anyway, how much it cost? We don't know. <laughs> Whatever you got in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> so it says try something new together. Try new things make you both feel free, feel free and vulnerable. Now, what do they mean and by try something new? Like maybe wine tasting or something? Yeah, exciting. Okay. Like okay. you can go take a pottery class. That's boring. That do sound boring. You can go skydiving. Ooh, that's too, too much. Yeah, for me. So find your medium. Okay. So you can, like you said, you can go to wine tastings. How about we just go great adventure? There you go. <laughs> you don't even want to go to great adventure. Be quiet. <laughs> My daughter will hear you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still going. She want to go. And she's going to go. But she's just going to be sitting at the bar. <laughs> drinking bellinis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because great adventure does have a bar. Which I just found out. Mm-hmm. Which she's trying to make me go. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. So, yeah. Think of something fun to do that and try that you've never tried. Maybe it's something that you've been wanting to do for a long time. You're like, I don't want to do this by Gun myself. Gun range. Yeah. Yeah. If that's something that you went into, do it. And y'all can go and pick out guns together. Oh, my goodness. She wants a pink one. I do. <laughs> Okay, the next one is <laughs> sleep together. That can be kind of dangerous if you're trying to be intimate without having sex. Excuse me. Yes. Okay. The article stated, okay. and you know, you're talking I about know. sleep together without sex. Excuse yes. me. The article <laughs> stated you are trying to be intimate I saw, I read without that, sex. It says curl up together, cuddle up, and just sleep. Oh, we've done that on tired days. Okay, so you this said it on tired days. Each other listen. enough to simply sleep together is incredibly intimate. It's, and I added on, especially for a woman, because a lot of times we want to just really sleep with you. We just want to be cuddled up under you and go to sleep. Okay, we y'all did. No food, so y'all eating and drinking that hula hands. I'm sorry to interrupt. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, this is what I have to be truthful about. It is hard if you are physically attracted some to somebody True. and y'all haven't had sex before to sleep in the same bed and not touch anything. You could touch. You can hug, you can touch, you okay. can hug, you can be intimate, but you just have to be like... If you really like somebody, it is hard to not go old. You know it is. I have to be truthful. It's hard. hard. Because you'd be like, I done fell up on some penis and I don't even know how it happened. But it happened because you got into the bed planning to go to sleep. Yeah. And, but he had other plans. Or maybe you had other plans. I mean, if you but don't... if you have other plans, women are more upfront with, this is what I want tonight. Sometimes, but you be like, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to be good. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. We do be trying to be it's good. Uh oh, my computer went out up. completely. I just want to be. Held. I think the battery oh, died. Never coming back over here. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, it's a way to show, um, to give, you know, show somebody that you can be intimate without having sex. Yeah. Here, but I'm letting y'all know that's dangerous territory. It's a little dangerous. A little dangerous. Just a little bit. Alright. Play a game of truth or dare. Again, dangerous territory. Very dangerous. Um, because that can definitely lead to um, sex. Mm-hmm. That's that. Remember, I, in the beginning I said that there were a few of these that can definitely lead to sex. And this is one of them. The light them up. So... You can play some truth or dare if you want to. You're going to find out the truth. All right. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Immediately. Immediately. (laughs) Immediately. (laughs) (laughs) I dare you to come sit on my lap. Oh, yes. All right. Okay. (laughs) So, be careful. The next one is share your fantasies. This is another one. That could possibly lead to sex. But you know something? Now, I have a, a girlfriend. She's she not listening. But listen, because she had told me about. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go there for Bruce said, Oh, hell no. no. If we're sleeping in the, in the same bed, right. she that's probably right. be in a bed. Sorry, into I told you. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> told you. Well, I mean, I know, but it says... That's if y'all like each other. And you that's like what I'm saying. You can't control it. Bed. It's but, like, that's, that's again, dangerous I'm territory if you're trying to... I would say tell I don't I agree with that part. 
I would say say it and then both of y'all try it. It would be fun just trying it. Yeah, it would be fun just trying it. Probably touch your sucker titty and, oh you my. know. Stop, stop. Suck a th- just touch the tip. Here touch the tip. Just put your hand on it. We ain't going to actually have sex. Just feel what you're missing. <laughs> and you keep tempting her. She keep tempting you. That can be turn fun. into a oh fun God. truth or get their game right there. Yeah, it's going down. <laughs> See it's what I mean? Down. Now, this is leading me back to think the first time. <laughs> yeah, I ain't giving you nothing. I'm just coming over to say hi. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Let me give you something to come back to. What? Uh-huh. Just came right back. Couldn't uh-huh. get back fast. <laughs> I had a business trip. I'm trying trip. to get an earlier flight. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Lord, y'all just giving me some. Anyway, I'm gonna need. Yeah. I'm getting me a chocolate martini tonight at home. Man. <laughs> I'm just like, y'all know, right now. We moving on to the next one. Oh, we talking about sharing the fantasies. Sharing so the listen. fantasies. I think that that would be fun, although also dangerous, because I had a girlfriend who did that, mm-hmm. and she was pretending that she was a, um, never mind, because I did lead to sex. Yeah, they all, mm-hmm. all the fantasies lead to sex. Absolutely. Period. Absolutely. Period. You could be like, oh, my fantasy is I want to meet you in a bar, act like we don't know each other, and then we but just But it was so together. cute, because it was a verse, and she pretended like she was basically the rapist. <laughs> she raped him? In a fantasy, yeah. She raped them in reality okay. as part of a fantasy. Mm. All right, let's move on because I don't want her to be listening. He liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Attraction. The attraction be crazy, so why? Well, I tease myself. Exactly. If this is something that you both want, I can see doing it. You know what? I think that the intimacy is good. I think it's more after you're already seasoned in the relationship. You're already seasoned, and then you can do the cuddling and all. But I think that when you're first getting to know each other, maybe just watching a movie and he put your, his arm around you, and that's it. Y'all are really shining on your anniversary. Look how I like that. We are glowing because we are. Oh, my Lord Jesus. I went off again. Uh-oh, we have some technical difficulties. Just a moment. No, that's fine. I know, but I can't have my partner in full range because she's getting her, her stuff together. I'm just going to use your, your computer. Cause I can't, I'm, I, I can't think about what the password is right now. So do you not um uh, like sort of agree with that, Sunshine? What that I think that the the intimacy part without the sex is better after you you're already seasoned in a relationship. Because then you know yeah, that part of it can be yes, that part of it. Because a lot of this is bordering on dangerous like territory. You, yeah, like you can't be <laughs> intimate in the bed and you. What's wrong? What? He said, shut your mouth. That's my, my fantasy, fantasy to role play at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> what you trying to say, I'm oh, sorry. I didn't mean to call you out. I didn't know that was your fantasy, but, uh, okay. <laughs> he trying to introduce the ladies to Mr. Angelo. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. But, no, I do. I agree. You can't be intimate in the bed. If you haven't had each other sexually, that's yet. dangerous. That's very dangerous. And we letting you know that's not going. That's work. why I said it could lead to sex. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But sharing your fantasies could also lead to it, as yeah. we found out. I mean, one of our listeners had that fantasy. Who knew? Mm. <laughs> mm. So, mm, sorry. Ooh, she's snoring. She's snoring. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna pour some more of this champ. This balloonie. Yes, top me off. This balloonie is good. Listen, I'm gonna try some of this, and I'm gonna get it with some tequila. Oh Jesus. As a matter of fact, listen. Look, I'm filling your cup almost up. Okay, cause I'm. A, I think I'm gonna go buy some of this for tomorrow. My um, my mom is supposed to come over in the morning. Oh, she's gonna like this. But listen, I'm gonna put a little. I'm put a little bit of tequila in it. Oh my gosh. I'm okay. Just gonna give it to her to drink, and I uh, tell her. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> the next one. <laughs> Hold on. That's right. I'm Mr. Angelo. I love my, my middle, middle name. name. Oh, shucks. <laughs> oh, his, uh, what is it? Ulterior identity. Is that what it's um, called? That's. Uh, what do they call mm. it? Yeah. Um. Ah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Alternate. Alternate. Alias or yes. Give okay. each other. Well, we talked about the fantasies. Give each other a massage. Now that's just you know it's just going. That's lead that's to. leading to it because Period. before you know it, you, your so panties done fell down. So yeah, that's not a good idea. Yeah, that is definitely not a good idea. It's going to lead to it because 
no matter how much ladies that is not part of your plan that night Mm -mm. it's gonna happen so that's dangerous don't don't do that so you might as well make it part of the plan especially if you're giving him the massage even if he's giving you the massage it's gonna be even worse if he's giving you the massage it's even worse so just go ahead on and do it dtd what you gonna drop them draws (laughs) (laughs) did you just come up with your own acronym (laughs) <laughs> she done came up with her own acronym I'm just letting, Listen I'm letting the ladies know Because listen sometimes You know we go through a lot of stuff Working mm-hmm. the kids And then when they say that they are gonna um, She better on acronym did you hear it DTB <laughs> drop them draws <laughs> And he talking and about something be using it tomorrow uh-huh. <laughs> Listen <laughs> then he, he talking about something he wouldn't give you a massage Ladies and at first you know he be hitting on them Spots where you can hold the tension then before you know it, DTD. DTD. So Bruce said, "How about <laughs> book reading?" That's a good one. How about what? Book, book reading. reading. So I guess y'all can both go to like the library at Barnes and Nobles or sit on the porch or something and read a book together. I guess. Hmm. 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 Okay. All right. So we passed the massage. The next one is cook together, which also, That's in my fun. opinion, is fun, but like it can that. lead to because you cook start. It too? Yes, because you start saying, "Here, baby, taste this," <laughs> and you yes. start licking yes. on the fingers. She suck my finger, what? Yeah. And you suck, suck it on the yeah. fingers and the thumbs and all that, and then the lips. Because let me taste it off your mouth, baby. Like all that starts leading up to. I don't care what y'all think, but it does. Uh oh. Mm. You know. See, but, I'm. You know how I am about my cooking. So when I'm cooking, I'm like into it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But that's why people have kitchen sex, right mm. at the stove mm. or the sink. Yeah. What about when they doing the dishes and you just run up behind them and just oh! pull? <laughs> <laughs> what? That is not intimate. <laughs> no. No, it ain't intimate, but it's spontaneous, like a motherfucker. Oh my lord, Jesus. Mm. All right, I can't see it, so I'm gonna have to continue. Looking okay. Towards. Okay. Focus on sim- simply kissing. That's it. Just kissing. That's it. That's also that's very, it. very. But dangerous. that's it. We just kissing. That's it. But then hands start to glide. Mm-hmm. But that's it. We're not doing nothing else. Just kissing. Be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, hey, hey, whoa. Uh, Bruce said cooking is fun But if she's wearing that sexy stuff Then again it's going down Exactly we just said it. <laughs> she been Thank you for agreeing <laughs> <laughs> So What we said Kiss, Simply kissing Nothing else just kissing That's dangerous as I said also It's only That's if you thing. have never been together Yeah That's the only time it's dangerous If you've never been together That's when it can be really dangerous because but now you are building up to yeah, if you know, that's what I mean. And that's the we're talking about like besides sex. So if you've never been together and you're, you know, just kissing, mm-hmm. that's dangerous. Yeah. Some some could happen. Definitely mm-hmm. can happen. Be careful. Because ladies, like she said, the DTD. DTD. Because you'll be like, how the heck did that just happen? I just said we just gonna cook dinner. And actually I got that from Janae Aiko in her song remix. <laughs> That's my type. When she did her uh, little set, she said, that's DTD, drop them draws. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, that is something that can really happen, so be careful. Okay. All right. So, the next one is start a project. By doing this, it shows that you are trying to make a commitment with each other. Okay. What kind of project they talking about here? No, painting no, the house? I don't want to do no painting. I'm sorry. That is not my thing at all. <laughs> So if you don't start the project, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate your commitment to painting the walls in my house. Just make sure you finish it. Right? Please make sure you finish it. Because I want you to be fully committed to this project. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, listen. I got kicked out the house in the middle of a painting project. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. What happened? Because I was being nice to the children. I was offering them food. And they mama said, get out of here. And then she was talking about how the lines was and this and that. And I was like, what? Mm, you was fully committed into that project. Yeah. And you got kicked out. Because she asked me to do a second one because I had did the living room. So do you have a problem with intimacy right now because of that? Hell no. 
I think she just wanted you to. She yeah. wanted you to DTD. You spend too much attention to the kid, kids. kids, and you need no. the DTD. Yeah, drop the no. <laughs> no, she no. It wasn't the time for that because that was one of the same ones I told you I did the sleep next to. I don't like that shit. That shit ain't cool. I don't speak to a motherfucker. You got me sleeping next to you for eight hours, and I can't. No, just hold, hold you. You could have okay. called Barry to hold you. I'm chill, chill. What the hell? How right. about us building a car together? You said, okay, I got the kissing part. And then he says, how about us building a car together? Really? Building a car? <laughs> <laughs> Although I had, back in my day. Ain't no mm-hmm. girl gonna build no car. Listen, listen, know. listen, listen. Why what had happened was, what had happened? I do know how to change a tire. Okay. Okay. And we'll do it. Have no problem if I have to. But back in the day. One of my friends, her car broke down. We was at Fairmont Pet Park hanging out for the Greek. Oh, yeah. And her car broke down, so we all had to drive my car. It was like 10 of us had to pile into my little Sundance. But anyway, the next day, we found out it was her alternator. How about she and I put that alternator belt on? We That's what I'm talking it. about. Pretty girl. Somebody told us what to do. Somebody told us what to do. We did exactly what we were told to and do. And got it running. And did it. Didn't have to jump, just you know. We of course we jumped the car after we got the belt on, but we did all that. That's so awesome. Yeah, so I don't think I could have did that. Yeah, that's hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I would do it. Yeah, I would do it again Go if ahead, I had girl. to. <laughs> like stuff like certain things are fun to me. Like that to me was fun. You hear that? Boy? Working on the house. <laughs> That's not fun. See, working on the I house decorated. is fun. I decorated, but I don't want to paint. I love to paint. <laughs> no, thank you. He said, "Yeah, did you keep it." Did you think, oh, I don't think you know, but I, I painted those two rooms upstairs. The yeah, Terry Cabrillas, yeah. I just yeah. yeah, I'm and just not interested. I didn't do I this down do here. Somebody stuff. else did it because this is messy painting, and I don't do messy painting. Who did that? Mm. <laughs> oh shit! Really? Yeah. Well, it wasn't me, but that look. Okay. That nigga probably watching right now. So <laughs> what? He probably watching. Oh well. So what? what? So what? what? You shouldn't have Messy painted it so wrong. You mm. wasn't fully committed to the intimacy of the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> intimacy. <laughs> Shit. He wasn't fully committed to painting. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that was that topic. <laughs> the next one. All right, let me say this before we say get it, into say it. it. Because this originally started off as um, we were trying freak to find potential. Your, your, we wanted to find out who could let their freak flag fly in relationships. <laughs> but <laughs> I started looking at some stuff online, and they had this, you know, this article. Well, not really an article, but they had like this test to say. If you are a freak or not. A freak test. A freak test. And I took two different ones. I was going to say, what kind of freak test? Listen. And it asks you all these questions, right? So, you took according the to the both tests, I'm only 50% freak. Oh, which wow. is fine with me. Because the what would make me a complete freak is if I allowed third hole entry. Yeah. And a lot of you men would not pass these tests because you are not allowing third hole entry. And or y'all second shit. hole entry. Oh, no, that's crazy. <laughs> I was like, but that's crazy that they make that part of the agenda now if you don't go all the way. All the way. Freak freak. Free. Yes. It used to be And oh if you do it outside. If you do it outside, like in public, in public places, that was another part of it. But I was just like, that's kind of crazy. I think so, too. Like, that makes you a freak because you would take that? No, thank you. No, thank you. But there are some men that will take it from their wives. Mm. So, you never know. Yeah. Well, different strokes for different, different folks. folks. So, that's why we didn't go with the freak potential. Unless we we have to really, like, do some research on that one. This, that one is about... I don't think that that should, should uh, choose your freak potential just because you won't yeah. do that. So. Mm-hmm. so, anyway. Our next topic, which is the second part to this, is... Sleeping with someone for the first time. It was found on Love. It was found on LovePanky.com by Natasha Ivanovic. 
And okay. I don't remember what year it was because I forgot to write it down. So the first rule would be to relax. You have to remember that you are both nervous. That this is your first time with each other. You know, if y'all are in the same age group and y'all haven't been together with nobody else but the same person that you was with for 20 years, 30 years, 5 years, and now y'all getting with somebody new. Things have changed. So, you have to relax. I think men are nervous when they're first you, with someone. I don't think I was nervous. I think I was more like relieved because um, I think that with my uh, ex-husband and everything I went through. So, you was relieved to be with somebody new? I was relieved to be with somebody who I felt fully attracted to mentally and physically. Mm. Don't laugh. <laughs> Don't be acting like I'm the only one that had an ugly motherfucker. You did too. Because y'all be acting like I'm the only one. <laughs> I don't say nothing. I don't Take that thing. shot. Take that shot. <laughs> Y'all did it too. <laughs> so, but y'all act like I'm out here alone. <laughs> every time I, you know what I'm saying? I be over here laughing. <laughs> I'm sorry. And stuff. You Listen, now, I'm not shallow. And uh, and mentally, you know, somebody can mm-hmm. um be attractive mentally, and they I don't agree. Okay. Oh my Lord Jesus. Okay. That's for her saying the MF for word. I didn't mean it. Did y'all hear it though? That should be a double shot. That is a double right there. You don't see how big that shot is? And then you're talking about people. No, I'm not talking about people, but everybody knows that it's different. I'm talking about them. (laughs) Everybody has different strengths and weaknesses. And I don't I don't (laughs) judge from that. So strengths and weakness. You see that? You see that? Everybody rolls around the mud a little bit, ain't it? Okay, but y'all were trying to remember. I mean, eh, everybody know. did. One, but mine wasn't a full blood fledged relationship slash marriage. Mm. Uh oh. Yeah. Mm. So do that shot. You live and learn. We live and learn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that he had one or two in his um closet. Oh okay. Couple boogers. Mm. He doing the deer in the head like look. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. No heavy drinking before the first time you have sex with someone. Because you might pass out and you might not even get to enjoy it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you want to be able to enjoy all the feelings and the touching. Mm-hmm. Don't be don't do no heavy drinking. And you want to make sure g- gentlemen that you are fully able to complete the task. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would say just a drink, maybe a glass of wine to relax you. Hold on. He said, Look, I got the Bernie Mac mouth. Oh, it's the Bernie Mac mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on. What's that? He said, he said, But my monkey be swinging from pocket to pocket. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the Bernie mouth no. <laughs> Okay. I can't see anything, y'all. So, if we, get, if we late on responding, we sorry. And plus, there's already a delay <laughs> on here as well. So, sorry, y'all. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah, no heavy drinking. Because, you know, you might not be able to perform the way that you would normally perform. When you and you want to be alert and, and enjoy it. Yeah, you want the person, the other person to be like, what was that for? <laughs> Remember Eddie Murphy said, I just had some, I thought I had some ribs. That was just very low saltines. <laughs> 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 so you know be ready to throw it on or throw it on uh, but, uh, but, but do you think that you should give up all your tapes while you're doing it for the first time no somebody? you gotta spread them out spread it out spread it do out do you think that you should let your fleet freak flag fly no you gotta do a little bit like hubba 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's how you gotta do it you gotta let a little bit out each time a little bit of time hubba Third time. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh. That is too funny. Okay, so the next one is late oh, this is for I thought it was for just the ladies when I first started reading and then men too. It's for both. Wear underwear that make you feel sexy. Yes. 
Because if you feel sexy, you confident. But you if you're feeling feel sexy and some tidy whiteys, leave them craps at home. Yeah. Please buy some blue whiteys. The blue tidies. Or whatever they are. <laughs> Don't wear the whitey, the tidy whiteys. No, you need you some of those. What are those? The boxers that fit clothes. I love those things. Uh-huh. Hey, like the, Joe. Hold on, hold on. Hey, that? Joe. What's up, Joe? I'm late. What the hell? Hey, Joe. All right. <laughs> you here now? Yeah, and it's a good one. You've been missing it. You've been missing it. So, no. Don't come in with the tidy whities No. Please don't do that. Mm-mm. You might think it's sexy. It's not sexy. You just might as well come... Commando, please. I don't think that tiny no, whiteys are sexy, period. I don't even no. know if people still wore those. There might be some men out there. Hold on. But the drinks give me, drink gives me a loose feeling. And if I pass out, then maybe next time. Uh-uh, oh, no. What? It makes you relax that much. Don't pass out. This is supposed to be your first time together, Bruce. Bruce, you can't you be pass passing out. out. Tell him when you're going to be able to get it again. Because <laughs> she might say, this boy, what? I'm he not can't a- hold his liquor, so he can't hold me. Mm-mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. not a good thing. Not at all. Not at all. So, please don't wear tidy whities. Find something else that make you feel sexy. Cause I don't know. Maybe there are some women that like the tidy whities. How? I don't know. Mm, they not. Cute. I like those knitted, like the tight fitting boxers. I don't know what those are called. I don't know. Okay. You know, I want to say briefs, but I can't remember. I think so I love those things. Those are cute, but it got a little um, people <laughs> easy access. So do the tidy white. Oh, but they're <laughs> tight and white. Ew. So do boxers. So the oh, those are I think they're called boxer briefs. Boxer briefs. That's what they are. Okay. You're right. All right. Next so one is a very important one. Okay. Basic hygiene is cool. Yes. Please make sure you smell fresh and clean down there. Please clean down there. Men and women. Please. Please. One more time. Please. Please. (laughs) (laughs) Wash your... Wash your behind. (laughs) Don't nobody want to spell no phone. No. If you have to take a shower... When you get home and say, you remember how the the shows back in the days be like, I'll be right back. I'll go go freshen up. I'm gonna go freshen up. Go freshen up. And if he say he needs to go freshen up in your bathroom, let him make sure he has some soap in there for him yeah. to freshen up with, cause he not gonna use what you use. In a rag. In a rag. And if you need to get him a toothbrush, cause sometimes you need some freshening up up in there. Girl, yeah. <laughs> Listen, it ain't nothing like somebody trying to kiss you and they smell like they didn't eat some shittles. Did you just cuss again? Mm -mm. (laughs) I said some shittles. (laughs) Same thing! I told y'all the shots was going to be flying tonight. That's Skittles. Oh my good lord. I'm not doing it though because we going out to drink afterwards. Here you go. Oh, wait a second. Those underwear I'm talking about, Bruce said that those are boxer briefs. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Anyway. The next one is, the next thing is also very important. Take care of your genitalia. Mm -hmm. Keep it neat and tidy down there. Yes. Keep it in a way that you feel sexy. Although, I think that there are some people that don't like the cut it down too close. Because mm. the bristles feel like they scratching you. I think that oh, he, Rashila said, make sure your feet has no funky tunes. Oh my God. Hey, Rashila. Hi, Rashila. <laughs> and you are so right. Oh my Don't gosh. be coming up in the bed smelling like no goddamn corn chips. Mm. No funky tunes. No funky tunes. But and yeah. then, you know something also while we talking about but ladies manscaping. Ladies speaking stink too. Yeah. Ladies speaking stink too. But men, there's nothing wrong with going to go get a pedicure now and then so you're not scratching up your girl with them damn claws. And the bottom of your feet. Oh, girl. The dry mm. around feet. Yes. And ladies, although I have to mention this to you too, mm-hmm. some of you don't have you no know, proper hygiene and you just don't know. But it's not good for you to have no claws down there either. No. No. Take care of yourself. There's nothing wrong with going to go get yourself a pedicure. Yes. 
at least at least once a month at least okay keep it neat and tidy down there keep it in a way that you feel sexy mm-hmm. so some people get wax i miss getting my wax you like the wax okay no let me tell you why i didn't like the wax I, that's I like because the- you had the wrong people doing it okay maybe mm-hmm. i like the way that they did the wax in the front my thing is this the hairs that are in that sensitive in between area <laughs> in the um we're not going to say but we know y'all yeah, know you don't you don't need to get all that because <laughs> don't nobody belong down there hold on bruce said i'm bald and my baby loves it there you go bruce it's to each his own to each his own but like i said some people don't like that in between when it starts going back the stubble the stubble because it's a little rough mm-hmm so, I mean, if you're getting wax, you can only get wax every four weeks. Yeah. But if you're doing other stuff, shaving or whatever, just keep it neat. Yeah, just keep it neat. That's the main thing. Just keep it neat. Keep it to where it's not hurting anybody. Um, because I look at it as um, hair holds funk. Woo! You ain't never lied. hmm So, you know. The next one. Number six. Uh-oh. <laughs> Be prepared, honey. Bring protection. Yes, Lord. Ladies, don't just always think that the man is going to bring some protection. You better make sure that you have it in your purse. Yep. Period. Be prepared. Please be prepared. Because you never know. You might not even have been planning for anything to go down that night. Mm. Because of the DTD. Drop them drugs. <laughs> You better make sure you have it in your purse. And Bella's, if she brings Magnum and you don't wear Magnum, don't be ashamed. Hmm. Just be thankful that she thought enough to bring something for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> make it, make that crap work. Yup. <laughs> what do you got to do? Tie it up or something? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> Tied up on the side. I don't know. <laughs> Woo! So it's getting a little bit warm up here. I'm saying because they, we all know all brothers ain't Magnum brothers. But it's okay. Listen, as long as they hit in the spot. Whatever spot you got. Okay. <laughs> Alright, the next one is get to know them. <clears throat> Sexually. That means... Take your time. Kiss for their body. Yes. Take the clothes off slowly. Seductively. Piece by piece. And I say pay attention to the moans and the groans and their reactions to whatever it is that you are doing to them. And then what you do is you do like a little dance with it. What? Hubba, hubba. <laughs> Make it like a strip tease as you're taking it off. Oh my god. <laughs> Like y'all ain't never do that. I look. I'm not gonna act like I never did that because I probably have and just don't remember everything. Because sometimes you do stuff and you be like, "What the moment? What was I doing?" Yeah. So take your time. Get to know. Explore. Like if you hear that certain moon at a certain spot, make sure you go back to that spot. And sometimes, and I used to tell someone before, I said, "If I do this to you, it's because I like it as well." Hmm. So why don't you try doing that to me too? I like that. Okay. Mhm. Okay. Giving you a hint. All right. <sighs> okay. Uh oh. I hope our parents aren't listening. I hope not either. Oh God. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> focus on foreplay. Yes, because that's important. Listen, that's the icing to get to the cake. <laughs> Oh, yes, right. ma'am. And it says you don't have to rush. Make out, grab them, touch them, bite them, kiss them, all that. Yeah, because we are all of a certain age now. It's okay to take your time and explore. We're not mm-hmm. in the bang, 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 bang phase. Oh my gosh, it's more I like the. What was that for in phase? You was young. You went in the bang, 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 bang. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. But we all are a certain age, and we can all take our time and explore. Take your time, baby. Take your time. Do it right. We can do it, baby. 
do it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, again, go slow. You should see no bang 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 bang. Yes, you should go slow and enjoy your foreplay, enjoy your sexual experience, pay attention to your partner's moves and grooves and, and moans and moans. Mm. All that. Okay. Okay, don't be rushing us. Don't be rushing us now. We almost done though. We almost done. We are almost done. Oh no. Almost soon. Okay. Communicate. That's the key. Like if it's something that I think that you have to be sexually compatible. And if it's something that your partner is not doing or mm-hmm. something that you like, communicate that with mm-hmm. him or her. I like when you did that, Daddy. Well, you know. When you did that, mm, mm-hmm. mm. Joe said foreplay should start even before there is any physical interaction. I think so too. With yes. the looks, with that's the why touches. we were talking about intimacy. You missed that in the beginning. Even oh, though man. intimacy was not supposed, the part we were talking about intimacy was not supposed to be about the sex part. But we said that it can lead to it. It can. So yes, you are right. Foreplay does not have to always be physical. No. It can be mental. A touch, a hold, all of that. That's physical. Looking into your eyes. Looking into your eyes. It's physical, but it's not Saying, like the... Baby, you are so beautiful. Or, no, baby, stop, you are don't handsome. Don't stop kidding, kidding. Yeah, all that. All that. Oh, you look good in that. Oh, you smell good. Hmm. Or it could just you be with come Texas. Home and give me some of that night. <laughs> like, you could text something like this, because this is what I text today. Uh-oh. So, I'm going to show you some of my, my personal stuff. Uh-uh. Today, I text after I saw... Um, my so, significant other in the morning I said you look so good today I wanted to slop you up with some biscuits and gravy I mean you left out of here this morning I was ready to slop that's you right up that's old school ish right there is it <laughs> that's exactly how I felt too <laughs> like I could literally put some gravy on you and eat you with some biscuits damn it mm. Mm. lord he must have been looking good mm. and smelling good alright so this one to me would be like make me to say we done I'm not even going to do this what? anymore don't compare the sex with past loves oh hell no mm. that shouldn't even be yeah don't even don't you dare <laughs> don't you dare do that that's just like make me be like alright I, I ain't even in the mood no we anymore. done I'll talk to you maybe one day deuces yes instead of bye Felicia bye Henry <laughs> I hate that bye Felicia <laughs> That's why I said by Henry. Yeah. All right. Forget what you look like. All right, ladies. I think that we have a tendency to be very obsessed with how we look to someone else, um, to a man. Mm-hmm. When it be when you know we take our clothes off and we be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Girl, he invited you to come enjoy this experience with him. He obviously saw through your clothes that you have a belly, that you have a big booty. He don't give a damn. He don't care because he didn't already saw it anyway, girl. Exactly. He, don't think he done felt it when he hugged you and all that. He Yeah. He's visualized it. He's seen it. Yes. So, instead of thinking about what he is seeing, focus on what you're about to do to him. And let your freak flag fly. Exactly. Don't ruin the moment. Mm-mm. And fellas, the same thing goes for you. She ha- she can tell that you got a belly. She don't care. She can tell that you might have some hips. She don't care. Obviously, if she is there with you, enjoy the moment. And she can tell that you got them couple sausages behind her neck. She love all that. <laughs> the only thing that she might not be prepared for is if you are Mr. Duncan. And don't be doing no farting. No, the only thing you see what I have. Yeah, well, they can't help that. Hmm. So, so if she might, you know, make stutter for a second, be like, oh my goodness. But, but yeah, don't be doing no. And my thing is this because intimacy, nobody should be women. Are if men. you if you are like truly in love with the person, if you're thunking, you gotta learn some other tricks on how to, you know, please a man, mm. please a woman. That's the only thing I mm. can say. Anyway, and the same thing with the women, because we all we we be putting it on the man up. If you feel like a man age star, you better find some other tricks too. Yeah, yeah, you better find some tricks. Mm-hmm. People, girl, better find some tricks. 
And not causing no judgment because anything could have happened. Could have had a couple of babies. Stuff happens. Exactly. So, ease up on the orgasm. It says that this may or may not happen when you are first with somebody for the first time because both of y'all are so nervous that you. It better freaking happen. They say ease up on the orgasm. Yeah, don't worry about it. What? Whether or not you're going to get it. No, that should happen. That's somebody. That's. Whoever wrote that failed on the first shot. That's uh, right. that, that's right. They say that you are so nervous that you might not even be able to relax enough to get one. Well, I don't know if I women? Be, I guess. I, I would say yes for the women, but... I don't know. I don't know yeah, if I agree with that. I don't know if I agree with it either because you should be there to enjoy yourself, women. Yeah. yeah. You know? And you gotta relax. Then you gotta relax. Which is why you're not supposed to worry about how your and body looks just or flow. anything else. Yeah. Just let it all... Literally flow. Just let go. That's what the song is for. Wop. Let it flow. Let it flow. <laughs> it flow. Okay. So I do have a quote. I had a couple. Um, let me pull them up. I'm just going to. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Uh oh. Okay. Did you have anything to say while I'm? No, I'm, I'm looking forward to your quote. Uh oh. People think that intimacy is about sex, but intimacy is about truth. When you realize you can tell someone your truth, when you can show yourself to them, when you stand in front of them and their response is, you're safe for me. That's intimacy. Yes. Now, before we go, you know what else I got to say, though? What? Um... Because I know we mentioned a little bit about this Brianna Taylor thing in the beginning. <laughs> yes. And I, I have to mention now since she's on here. I was kind of waiting to see if she was joining us tonight. But the reason why this whole situation made me so upset. And it made me so upset of how they're doing this. Because there are so many of our people who don't mm -hmm. get recognized exactly. when this happens to their children. Mm -hmm. Now one of our listeners, Rochelle White, um, her son was... Um, taken from this world by police officers mm -hmm. um, that didn't get publicized on the news but what I'm telling you is that this continuously happens to our people Every so um, just swishing it under the rug and paying these people off like that's not going to fly anymore mm -mm. it's just not and that's why I say I'm, I'm sorry but do I actually agree with it I'm kind of com I'm conflicted with these do I actually agree with how they're tearing down um where she's at no I don't mm -hmm. but do I understand it yes mm -hmm. and would I do it yeah if this had happened to my son or my daughter mm -hmm. so um what I'm saying is that there are a whole lot of names that are not even publicized that exactly. this happens to yep right. a lot of our, a lot of people so, Rashila, we're definitely keeping you in our, in our prayers because I know that this is a lot to deal with. And as you see, this crap is still going on every day. And continue his prayers on Mujahe, Rashida. Okay. All right, but we thank you all for listening. This was a fun, fun, fun show. It was. We're about to head to Hula Hands because I'm getting me a chocolate martini. Mm. Yeah. Mm. She, I've been mm. wanting it ever since she talked about it last week. Hell, I don't a chocolate martini with the diver. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Delicious. And whatever else we getting on, the producer, because we can't, he gave us some money. He gave us some money. <laughs> that is all I have to say. Stay the night. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you all for listening. Thank again. you so Smooches. much. Smooches. We love you. We love y'all. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. It actually is, is good. Hmm? Is that my what? Lisa Marie Brown. Is that your phone? Yeah. Okay, because she requested me to be her phone. Okay. Okay. Are we still on the air, baby?
No, you're not. You're not. Okay. That was the one I was talking about. You're still recording, but nobody can hear. She, did, she used to, with her, you know, she got married recently, just a year ago. She used to play like she was a booty bandit with her man. <laughs> I was like, what? She was like, yeah.